What's up, you guys? I'm Calm. And I'm Terry. And that makes us the Scorsese of YouTube commentary. And today we're watching Relatable Filipino TikToks so, by the best of TikTok. Sorry. No, no, no. It is. Uh, so I'm actually uh, secretly half Filipino. So I might understand some of these. And I am curious to see uh, what uh, someone like Terry would think of these because he has no experience in this culture. In fact, I might not even get some of these accurate myself. Like, I might be confused. So I am interested to see what Filipinos are making on the other side of the world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You seem to be mistaken, man. I'm, I'm uh, super familiar with the culture. Check this out, dude. Putang in a mo. Oh, yeah. Huh? The tang, tang, in huh? a, tang in a pouch. That's the, the yeah, juice, right? The, yeah. The, the Putang, orange. Yeah. dude. The Putang clan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right, brother, you get that one? Oh, what? Filipinos use bidets or something? Yeah, so I think this is called a tabo. Uh -huh. uh, and yeah, you. I don't know what other countries do this. It's similar to a bidet. I guess it's a manual bidet. You just wash your ass in this like bucket and then you toss the water. Oh, you like manually wash your ass. Yeah, like bidets are like the automatic versions of oh. that. Oh, this guy's got it good though, cause he's got like a little, yeah. like he's got this nozzle, like this. Yeah. Gee, yeah. that's fancy. <laughs> <laughs> in other houses that I visited, they didn't have this. It was just that bucket, homie. So if you're ever in the <laughs> Philippines and you see a bucket, don't wash your hands in it. Don't wash your face with that water. Just don't do it. When your mom forces you to sing karaoke at the Filipino gathering and you act like you don't want to. That's the wrong two. That's better. Do, 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 do Filipinos do karaoke a bunch? Yeah, all Filipinos sing, man. All of them. Yeah. Do you sing? Uh, in the shower, dude. I put on concerts. Like the whole shebang. Lights, Wait. steam. Subscribe to our OnlyFans, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, calm. all Filipinos uh, know how to sing, even though they're... Okay, kids, I wish I knew how to sing, dude. Okay. Dude, dude, is this a Mexican one, dude? I feel like that's a Mexican. <laughs> that's a Mexican yeah, like a, a big-ass family. No, I, yeah, think, yeah. I think Filipinos are very similar. Well, I mean, they were colonized by the Spanish, but in, in like Latino oh, culture, you're right. yeah, everyone's like an aunt or an uncle. So you always yeah, say like tío yeah. or tito, you Tio, know? Yeah. 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 But in, in the Philippines, it's the same thing, but they don't do this anymore. But I actually recognize that hand thing. It's called manopo, and you would ask for their hand and put their like hand on your forehead. Not even the generation that I'm familiar with does that. Like that's like previous generation. I think. Ah, I like see, so, that's see, a very old custom. You know? Yeah, that's pretty interesting, dude. I walk in. Haven't you people ever heard of? <laughs> I think these oh, are all people uh, that like invaded or like yeah, 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 yeah. had some kind of. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Girl, are you prom Uganda? You, Maganda. <laughs> what, <is that> <laughs> what a stupid ass joke. Okay, so first of all, the this line it takes the yeah. F because Filipinos don't really pronounce F. Because they don't have that letter in their alphabet, so you would say this like "Get are you prom Uganda?" Because they like that's why it's a joke prom Uganda. So the punchline is "Cause you Maganda," I mean because you're beautiful in Tagalog, but it's just hella ugly. <laughs> so ugly. I still I don't hope, get it. Dude. I hope 
Are are you are you from Uganda? Cause you oh, Maganda. Are you from Uganda? Oh, yeah. I see, I see, I see, I see. Cause you Maganda. Yeah. <laughs> so ugly, brother. I gotta try that one on like the American that's, Filipinos. See, that's good. That. That's good. Thank you. Ato, ato. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so, uh, in the Philippines, I don't think they do this too much anymore, but TS is pronounced as CH. So yeah. it was Ocho Ocho. Oh. Ocho Ocho, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in the Philippines, there's a really famous song called Ocho Ocho, and they they did it they did that dance this one <laughs> they they did well not exactly it's more like this like you're moving your back up and down and it looks yeah, yeah. Hell, <laughs> like, like it looks hella ugly like we'll put like a clip of that playing here but um it was actually like before like twerking and gungam style like it's really really old and it was called ocho ocho and it's Wait, really gross that's like people who don't know how to twerk right yeah, it like it looks like, it that, looks like that, right? But it's ah. it's way before that. It's really old, Dang called Ocho it. Ocho. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he's really going for the wig, dude. Yeah. Everyone's got better food. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what kind of chairs do you guys have in the Philippines, dude? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, <laughs> I'm over it. Wait, did do you, you have some ADHD? <laughs> did, did you get? Did you get that? Like, I I didn't get that. I didn't get it, dude. I, you I don't, don't know. have chairs? <laughs> I guess, maybe. Jaden, give it to me. Jaden, give it. Jaden, I'm being at bar. You want my Dang, that's that goes for any language, dude. Yeah. Like, if you're down, we can go get boba after school. Like, want to see my uke? She won't let me get a perm. Hey, there was those dudes at my high school. Okay. To be fair, <laughs> in the Philippines, I did not meet many Filipinos that played the ukulele, but a lot of them did play the guitar. I don't know if those are like mutually exclusive like maybe you can play the ukulele if you can play the yeah, guitar but yeah. no one i knew had a ukulele like people had guitars so they preferred uh, to play that yeah but i i guess i could see no one was flexing it though but most people kind of like how most people sing a lot of the guys can play guitar and actually i asked him about that because i was like i think that's actually strange like it's a good thing that a lot of people are like musically inclined but yeah, I was like, yeah. I think it's strange that a lot of people can play the guitar. And they were like, well, Filipinos are a little old school in that they still try to like woo girls by singing to them with the guitar. Uh, and I was like, oh, interesting. So maybe that's why. Yeah, there would be those dudes at my high school and college, dude. They would just walk around campus uh, just singing and playing the ukulele. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Hoping a girl would walk up to them. Yeah, I think so, dude. I think so. Dude, I remember uh, I, I was reading, I don't remember who wrote the book, but this it was a comedian, and he was talking about how he would walk around with a women's rights book. Not He wouldn't actually read it, but he walked around with it, showing it off. I, I like, mean, he <laughs> couldn't read it anyways, because it would be blank, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was like, it didn't work for him, and it just ended up making him look like an asshole. <laughs> so, it just reminds me of that. All right, all right. Go next. Oh, that, that, that's oh, the Ocho Ocho, Ocho dance. Ocho. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Mom, you suck. Did you just? You know what? It's only a phase. Have a fun day at school, sweetie. How Filipino parents deal with their disrespectful children. Hui, Anna, did you eat yet? No. Are you talking back to me? No. no. Ah, okay. Give me your hands. 
Where's your command? La chancla, dude. That's right. You want to talk back to me, huh? Mm-hmm. Alright, I didn't even do anything. Sige. Isa pa. Isa pa. So, all right, all right. In, in Tagalog, uh, it's pretty close. Chancla, the equivalent to that in Tagalog is chinela. It's like the slipper. Chinela, yeah, chinela. damn. Yeah, it's pretty close. Dude. Dude, I, got some, I got some childhood friends that call it la chancleta. Chancletas. Which I think is the actual correct term. I'm not sure, though. La Willy, chancleta. Willy Wonka in the chancleta factory. I <laughs> 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 got it. Go, go, go. Hey, dude! It looks like it looks like some Mexicans, some Filipinos are kind that's of right, That's right. That's right. Sana sana colita de rana. Yeah. Okay. So a little fun, a little tidbit is like for a lot of the medicines, like they're not over the counter. Like you actually have to get like a prescription for it. Yeah, yeah. So like the 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 things that they can get over the counter are like those. That's why they usually use those because like to get the stronger things that you might need. Uh, that we have in America that you can just get over the counter. Uh, like, they don't want people buying it and selling it abroad because, you know, it's, like, way cheaper here. Or oh, way cheaper there than it is yeah. here. Like, I think I had to get a prescription for, like, ibuprofen. Like, mm-hmm. when I was in the Philippines. Uh, but it's just kind of it's super interesting. So, uh, but yeah, yeah cool, the, cool. the Vapo Vix rug rub thing, dude. The, va- the Vaperu, dude. Vaperu. The Vaperu. <laughs> the one cure all. Hell yeah. These ladies are hot. They're so very hot. So much damage to my. <laughs> that's right, dude. That's right. Okay, so you understand that one. That one's pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Am I supposed to pause empty. or? Oh no. Oh no. Yikes. Wait, that's the is that the one with like the the, the freaking half the, grown chicken side yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah. that's what exactly. Uh, I know they have that in like Vietnam as well. It's very very common there. Yeah. Although I think in Vietnam they use ducks and in the Philippines they use chickens, like mostly. Oh, I could be wrong, but my I, Vietnamese friend eats the duck version. eats it like he didn't just try it and like just once. Yeah. Not not once, like he still he still eats it. Like what? here in America, like he goes to like some shady parts of Chinatown and he like he literally gets like a case of them. It, isn't there bones and shit? Yeah, like you'll hear a crunch, like the beak oh. or whatever. Yeah. Wait, what was the first one that he down? Oh yeah, yeah. Downstairs. Sababa. Baba. Baba. <laughs> Wait, what? Baba. English of Baba is Baba? Baba. Go down. Baba. Ba. Will Baba go downstairs? Baba. Baba. Si baba. Sa baba. Okay. Actually, when I first learned that word in the Philippines, I made a joke. Uh, you uh-huh. know that song, Baby, Are You Down, 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 Down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, so in the Philippines, if you were to translate that, like if, if they had a translated version, would it be babae, ba 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 Hey, hey, can't confuse me now, dude. <clears throat> Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I don't know why that made me. <laughs> Hello. That made you laugh? <laughs> Louis Vuitton, dude. Louis. <laughs> Okay, like when it first, I almost read it as Louis Bitcoin. Louis yeah. Bitcoin. 
<laughs> is it a knockoff version? It just looks it looks like a bootleg. Maybe, but uh, in the Philippines, they don't have a V either. They have Bs instead of Vs. Oh, I see, yeah. I see. I don't get this one, Wallace. Wallace? I don't understand. Wig, okay. Wig, did you just say wig? Yes. I know, wig. I feel that already. What is wig? wig, what is wig? No, it's not your language. It's just for us. Wig. I don't know what wig is. What is wig? wig? I don't know. No, it's not your language. It's just for us. Wig. He's eating chicharron. Saying wig? Even I don't get that, dude. And there's a Mexican flag right there. <laughs> right. I don't get that. <laughs> uh -huh. Yo, overplayed joke, bro. I, as I said before, Manopo is not a thing. It's not. Yeah. I don't. I don't care. Like that's an older generation thing. But I th I think they're they're more so playing off of like the the culture. Like Filipinos still know what it is. They don't do it. But yeah, yeah. I think it's just kind of that pride thing, like knowing that that's like, uh, hey, yeah, Filipino. You know, yeah. something that you'd recognize from across the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, you know, I bet somebody would be like, I I still do that, brother. Like. I I I went around a lot of not like oh I went to like Boracay like you know I I lived in like Santo Tomas you don't know what that is but it's uh like further really far from Manila it's probably like a two hour drive or something and like yeah, I visited yeah. like a bunch of places inland like I've I've been in the Philippines um and <laughs> ain't no one doing Manopo dude so <laughs> ain't no one doing that. <laughs> You hear it. You heard it here first, boys. That's right. Karaoke, of course. Oh, 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 God, son. Mo, oh, God, son. Yung ubot mo na bangsit. The bottom. The bottom. Wait, it's como está? Close. It's uh. Okay, I don't know why it says kamusta, but it's uh -huh. pronounced kumusta. Oh, kumusta. Yeah, kumusta ka. Like you hear me say that to Euro all the time. Oh, that's what you say to Euro. Ah. Yeah. Kumusta ka. But it, it looks weird if you say kamusta. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's really close to kumusta. Oh, damn, I see, I see. Yeah. I remember uh, when I visited my, my grandma. She would try to speak to me in English. Yeah, yeah. She didn't really understand the English that I'm using because, you know, my accent. She only uh -huh. understood, like, Filipino English, which is kind of hard, if, like, if you're not too used to it, as we heard yeah, earlier, yeah. like, some of the phrases we don't really understand. But, um, so I would ask her a question and she would just nod her head. You know, like, she, <laughs> she was, like, pretending to listen. So when she yeah, spoke yeah. to me in Tagalog, I would do the exact same thing to her. But the problem is, she kept going because she didn't understand that I was just making a joke. And she would just go on and on and on. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this was a mistake. <laughs> she, she got really excited. She's like, oh, you understand Filipino? Yeah. I grab it. You know, it's just like the worst. And yeah, that's I, how grandmas are, dude. Yeah. So I, I, I sort of get this one. Yeah. Oh no. Bro, I'm like really thirsty. Do you have anything to drink right now? Sure, I can get you this clear liquid thing from this here waterfall. Give it to me. It's really good, but what should we call it? You are too big. That's it. Too big. Too big. Is that That is, is that, what that is how you say water in Tagalog, yes. <laughs> yeah, too big. That's pretty good. I'll be your Pinoy girl. I'll make a double every night. I'm a nurse, so it'll be all right. I'll rub beaks on your feet when you're sick. I'll sambal you and misbehave. Hey, what song was that? That song's familiar, dude. I think it's Mario, right? Yeah, the jump superstars. Yeah, yeah.
<laughs> hey, there's the bidet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Ba -ba -doo. laughs> Looks like that's the end of this video for Filipino TikToks. I did my best to understand and explain to Terry what uh, I understood from these TikToks. Uh, I hope that we can enjoy other TikToks from all around the world, not just ones that we partially understand. Until then, we will see you guys in the next episode. Yo, peace.